Hi there. My name is uh, Dee. Um, I'm a head of product and I work in environmental services uh, in the industry in the UK. Um, I, I am currently reviewing um, Air Focus and I'd probably give them a five in terms of the product itself. So we considered um, utilizing two specific uh, product softwares. Um, one was uh, Roadmuck and one was uh, Product Plan. Uh, this was after a significant period of research. We did trials with them and with Product Plan, actually we went ahead with uh, getting a license as well. Uh, what we did notice was the lack of functionality around prioritization, which is really key within the, the, the product software industry. Um, in terms of getting stakeholder decision alignment and also in terms of knowing what to work on first, right? So that's a really key decision. And we found that both of these softwares were probably around a three or four out of 10 in terms of their usage. So we decided against them and um, we went, went out to the market to find out some more products. We chose Air Focus after a period of research um, around uh, road mapping software. And we found quite quickly that Air Focus provided us the value that we were looking for in terms of um, a strategic priority scoring, um, customized views of fields in terms of, you know, uh, specific views within, say, environmental services, as an example. Um, and also um, uh, something very interesting called as priority poker, uh, which means when we align ourselves with uh, three or four people on call, we do not sway anyone's decision around what the priority of this particular product should be and actually do it in, um, in, in, as an individual, which we thought was really cool because we can then collectively come back after launching a priority poker session and then reaching a conclusion which is a lot more cohesive and mutual rather than a lot more driven by, say, an executive board. So we thought this was a really cool feature along with all of the other uh, really neat priority scorings that were available on Air Focus. Uh, and that's why we, you know, that, that kind of like put it ahead in terms of the other road mapping software. And that's why we selected it. The integration uh, piece we found, it was, you know, very simple, actually, because there's a couple of sessions whereby uh, the CEO of Air Focus actually led demonstrations um, in, in a webinar. So I introduced a, a lot of my team to that particular webinar, and they found it very engaging and, um, you know, they adapted to the air focus uh, terminologies pretty quickly. So that was excellent. It was a good sort of starter point for us to go on this road mapping journey with air focus. But I think the integration that really uh, got great points with us was our, was our integration with Jira, which air focus was very committed to uh, other, rather than the other softwares that we looked at in the market. And we found Jira integration to be at least an eight or nine out of 10. Uh, which was super important for us because our tech team utilizes Jira quite a lot. And any software that we use for product management uh, and road mapping need, needed to have that sort of significant Jira integration. So these are a couple of examples of, you know, getting the um, adoption of the system high right at the start with demos, but also having a significant suite of integrations uh, like Jira, Asana, and Trello uh, which really made it uh, comfortable for us to uh, adopt the system quite quickly. We found Air Focus really useful, um, especially in terms of prioritization, um, strategic indices, and also integration. Um, however, there's a couple of things that we have fed back to Air Focus in terms of uh, better customization, uh, a little more of a colorful interface that we found in other road mapping software. Uh, so if anyone's very super creative or if there are any UX designers out there, utilizing road mapping software, uh, I would say Air Focus is more focused uh, on the prioritization and the strategy elements rather than the super cool, um, you know, color palette sort of customization elements. But that's not giving away um, too much uh, in terms of them not having this on the roadmap because we, uh, we, we are informed um, pretty much all the time in terms of what's coming up next uh, within the Air Focus journey. And we are we have been promised of a presentation worthy, super colorful sort of display mechanism, uh, which would be quite useful for, you know, creative designers and, uh, you know, product creatives um, out there. Um, so from that particular perspective, it's on the roadmap and it's happening shortly. But from a perspective of product managers and owners out there, I think it's a fantastic tool because 
prioritization is absolutely key and fundamental to what we do in our jobs day to day. And I couldn't recommend Air Focus more highly after all the significant research that me and my team have done in terms of acquiring a mapping software. So they come pretty highly recommended on that.